Okay. Your name, Deputy Chief? Name is uh, Deputy Chief Ken Hanks, H A N K S. Uh, firefighters passing. Uh, we had one firefighter injured, uh, leg injury, non-life threatening. Uh, the crew was able to rescue him from the second floor. He was transported to Waterbury Hospital for treatment. Uh, it appears he has a leg injury. Uh, we're not sure of the extent yet. Sure. So we are about 9:35. We received a call for a building fire at 49 Andrew Avenue. Uh, on arrival, we had heavy smoke showing from the second floor and attic. Uh, the crew made an interior attack. It's when the firefighter was injured. Uh, the fire is confined to the third floor, which is a uh, part of the second floor apartment. Uh, there's extensive fire damage on the third floor, uh, and then smoke and water damage throughout the apartment. Uh, outside of the firefighter, there are no other injuries reported. All the occupants were able to evacuate prior to the fire department arrival. Yeah, the interior is pretty well gutted, uh, right down to the studs. There's a lot of interior damage. Uh, there's a, we had to cut a hole in the roof for ventilation. Uh, the family will be out of here for uh, for quite a while before they move back. How many families in here? Uh, there's two families. I believe uh, uh, last count I had was five individuals total between the two apartments. Uh, rental the rental units, Red Cross is on scene now assisting them for housing. Uh, let's see, ninth there, we had the fire call at 935. Um, you know, with the firefighter injury, that extended our time. Uh, we did have to call mutual aid from Waterbury and Beacon Falls to assist us uh, about an hour before the fire was under control, and we're just looking for hot spots now.